Hi, I'm Rob May, MD of Ramsac, and welcome to CyberChat. Today I want to talk to you about phishing and whaling. So phishing um, is an, an email that comes in pretending to be someone that they're not. We've all received phishing emails at some point. Um, you know, you probably had the infamous uh, email from a long lost family member who uh, lives in Nairobi and is trying to get money out of the country and into your bank account. That, that's a crude form of phishing. And frankly, that's been around uh, since way before email. Those, we used to get those as letters or faxes into the office long before, long before email. But that, that's phishing. I think a bigger problem is uh, whaling. So whaling is a phishing attack uh, aimed at the big fish in an organisation. Directors, uh, it's sometimes called CEO crime. And there's a successful whaling attack every 15 minutes of every working day in the UK. And by success, I mean that money is transferred out of a bank account of a business into a criminal's bank account. So it's a huge problem and the message just isn't getting through. And unfortunately, I've seen far too many successful whaling attacks. Uh, one, one that springs to mind, we had a, a client and the lady in accounts received an email from her MD. And the MD said, uh, I'm at uh, a trade show which he was, and the world knew he was because he'd been tweeting about it. I'm at a trade show. I met a guy last night and he's got a service which is going to help us with Project Kylie. Now the thing that was clever about this was Project Kylie was a top secret project that supposedly only three people knew about in the business. Uh, I've agreed to work with him. Uh, here are his bank details. I need you to pay seven and a half thousand pounds. If you could do that uh, when convenient today, I'd really appreciate it. Actually, I'm meeting him for a coffee at 11 o'clock. If there's any chance you could do it before then, give me a call and let me know because that would be a nice thing to do to be able to tell him. Now, the thing is that was all written in a way that this particular MD spoke and the way that he would talk to his accounts lady. So she read it and just was convinced that it was from him. So she transferred the seven and a half thousand pounds. She phoned him up and said, I've done it. And he said, you've done what? And I think one of the problems is the person who presses the button, and remember this is happening every 15 minutes, uh, of every working day, the person who presses the button, when they find out, they're gutted. They're absolutely gutted that they've, that they've been tricked. Um, but what they'll always say is something along the lines of, it was definitely from my MD or my CEO or, or whomever, and it's more than my job's worth not to do what my MD tells me to do. And we have to change that culture what you need to be sure of is within your business it's more than their job's worth to make a payment based on an email instruction you know no one should ever do that what they should be doing is picking up the phone saying is this really you is this really what you want me to do so beware of whaling attacks they're absolutely rife and uh, you, you need to be aware of them, you need to tell your staff and you need to educate your staff not to make any payments on the back of an email instruction. I hope that's been useful and I look forward to speaking to you again. Thank you.